how to improve operations in a small business. When it comes to administration, whether you're a newbie entrepreneur or a seasoned business owner, there's always scope for improvement. Fine-tuning your processes improves the efficiency of your organization and saves money. You must understand how to improve business operations in ways that will benefit your firm, even if it runs on a smaller scale. Corporate development directors collaborate across divisions to coordinate groups, set objectives, implement projects and enhance processes, all of which help the company run better and quickly. Production, selling, promotions and branding are all important aspects of a firm's management. The profit margin left after operating costs have subtracted from cash flow is represented on a company's balance sheet as operational profit. But first, if you're new here, consider subscribing to this channel to continue receiving great weekly videos on consulting. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you can get informed every time I publish a new video. The following are the recommendations for improving corporate procedures to boost corporate productivity. Set objectives. Without even a list of clearly defined objectives, no organization ever has prospered. While many small businesses are aware of this, a few are unaware that business objectives aren't stable. Therefore, they must be evaluated frequently to remain up with changes in the organizational situation. For example, if a company sets a goal of earning at least 10 sales per day but has already met that goal, it can increase the bar and aim for a more significant number. Just because someone has already done something a specific way does not mean it's the best way to use it. Allowing one to let go of old bad habits that are slowing business down will improve overall company processes. Without a doubt, specific procedures will never change since they are essential to the success of an organization. Tackling minor problems Individuals that own a small company must manage with weak regions as soon as possible. Simple concerns frequently escalate into significant problems. Significant setbacks can result in substantial financial as well as put a halt to business activities. People should consider how they might enhance their company, create a list of potential solutions to problems and put the ones that people believe will work much better into practice. Communicate with professionals, co-workers and many others in the sector to discover how they dealt with similar issues. Establish a strategy for dealing with difficulties once you fix the existing ones. Maintain your economic rating. Fewer smaller businesses have a clear picture of the daily, weekly and monthly figure and cash flows from operating at their disposal. Therefore, companies must spend the appropriate time maintaining recent profitability. People consult advisors if they don't have the financial skills but stay in the loop. Utilize elevated promotional activities. Wasting money on ineffectual advertising is simple. To boost a modest business, people look for low-cost, high-impact marketing tactics. Before incorporating one or two new approaches into your target market, evaluate these to discover which ones function better. Social networking is a beautiful, low-cost and low-risk tool to advertise any brand. Social media, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram are just a few social media platforms that can help people establish interactivity and bring attention to one's company. Become an expert in professional meetings. A strong business presentation can help boost the performance of a small business. Begin with mastering the fundamentals of delivering a remarkable business speech. Providing a lucky nugget of advice to fascinate the crowd is one of them. Motivate staff. Every company's most valuable asset is its workers. It could even be more beneficial for new enterprises than for giant enterprises. Small company employees are sparsely populated and frequently have to fill many jobs, which separate people in larger companies would otherwise fill. Keeping employees engaged is critical if people want everything to function smoothly at all times. It is not necessary to spend a lot of money to get motivated. It's often the minor details like achievement reward and flexible hours that have the most impact on employee happiness. One company is either growing or deteriorating at any particular time. Users raise their chances of staying one step ahead of their competitors by constantly improving their procedures. Recognize your limitations. 
Great people in business are often aware of their constraints. Understanding the entrepreneur's characteristics helps teams manage company assets and seek assistance in areas where people are lacking. It is a critical factor in achieving progress. If someone is good at marketing but not so much at accounting, for instance, concentrate on selling and employ others to manage the accounts. Pause for a moment. It takes a lot of effort to run a small firm. Taking a trip can often be the most effective approach to boost an organization and rekindle one's enthusiasm. Don't undervalue the importance of taking some time away from the situation. Stay current with the most popular trends. A company should keep up on what's going on in the business to enhance suggestions on outperforming the competitors. A new invention, shifting government regulations and adjustments in the tourism industry are examples of developments. Monitoring the most recent trends and patterns in processes can assist the organization in developing new systems that increase performance, save costs and ensure compliance with unique requirements. In much less than a year, know how to develop your product development. Keep an eye on your assets. Most small firms struggle with working capital since they will not understand where their money goes. As a result, matters related to income are often put off until it becomes a severe problem. Purchase at the very least a cash management software system and enter expenses as people go. Make a conscious effort to generate analysis and review wherever the cash is spent, at least monthly. Merely by utilizing a technology partner, reducing back on things they don't even use or avoiding overspends, businesses may be able to reduce cost and boost earnings. Examine your procedures. Finding the minor flaws in existing procedures might help people to make significant changes. But unfortunately, users can't mend something they don't know about. For such work, the company must enlist the assistance of a qualified third-party provider to monitor their daily activities and give recommendations for changes. Examine everything from the sales team to the inventory management system. Make sure that you don't forget about any of the elements of the company. The more areas one examines, the more quickly users may develop. Use the web to connect. According to a Gartner report, organizations that do not integrate digitally lose 25% of their strategic advantage. In addition, the capacity to obtain data at any time, regardless of what type of organization they run, allows businesses to increase motivation. There are numerous other methods to assist small firms by implementing processes on a worldwide dimension. Perhaps someone up at night worrying about whether he'll have enough stock for the holiday period. A fast inventory check sets one's mind at peace and allows people to have some much-needed relaxation so someone can return to business feeling refreshed the very next day. Workforce Self-Sufficiency Training one can spend countless hours teaching company employees about their customer support guidelines or function as a team. However, instilling a sense of responsibility in their employees is the most critical thing they can do. Ascertain that they are comfortable learning new things and do not require assistance with every small activity. They'll take some time and their supervisor's time while also coming up with fantastic ideas. Of course, the first step is to hire the proper person. Users must have faith that they will not make judgments that are detrimental to the organization. Then teach employees about the organizational rules and how to deal with customers. Health plans should be merged. Although people may believe that shopping around for various health insurance plans will save them money, maintaining one's company with a significant operator will generally save users money. People can have the same renewal notice each year, eliminating the need to make several checks or keep a record of several suppliers. Please spend some time examining how effective the program is for them. To safeguard company facilities, merchandise and self-reliance, they'll require coverage. An umbrella policy offers additional protection against litigation, but it doesn't cost too much money to add to existing content. The effect of poor business operations. The effect of inadequate business activities can be noticed throughout the entire organization. It's not only the everyday operations and routines followed by moderate staff, but that's a big part of it. It all comes down to management in the end. Weak management in the workplace could have a significant adverse effect on the economy. 
Such negative consequences might sometimes result in inexpensive for the organization as well as a decrease in revenues. Even most exemplary staff may quit due to inadequate operational processes. All dislike weak management. Even talented people might be made to feel highly depressed by bad supervisors. Will indeed the company's most exemplary staff be less effective if they do not feel respected, members of a group, or operating in a different situation? It will always be challenging to run and scale a company. However, building a robust base of well-functioning practices underpinning a corporation can make things a lot easier. Individuals are continually provided with opportunities to develop as small business people. Small businesses are crucial since they generate a significant amount of new vacancies. Organizations must support the testing process by keeping transaction costs as cheap as feasible and allowing hazards to be handled correctly. Small businesses alter and empower people. Firms can link assets and development throughout civilizations, policy frameworks, market circumstances and current politics that emerge from various places. If you like the video, give us a like so we can make more videos like this one and tell us in the comments section below what type of videos you want. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more weekly videos.